If I ask you how many planets are in our solar system, you may get confused about whether you should say eight or nine. But do you really know the reason behind this confusion? The planet that causes the confusion is Pluto, considerably the last planet in the solar system for many years. If you were a student a few years back, you may have been told by your teachers that there are nine planets in the solar system. However, you will be surprised to know that your kids will not be told the same thing, because now scientists believe that there are only eight planets in the solar system. These include Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Neptune, Uranus, Jupiter and Saturn. But what happened to Pluto? Why is it no longer a planet? Is it destroyed by an asteroid or a comet? Or is it eaten by a furious black hole? There are more chances that you have no answer to the multi-million dollar question of why Pluto is no longer a planet in the solar system. Don't worry and don't be confused because you have clicked on the right video as we are going to go through from the very start of Pluto's discovery to the end where scientists delisted it from the nine planets of the solar system. Let's start with the first person who believed in the presence of Pluto as a planet, but unfortunately failed to prove it before they died. Somehow the search for Pluto continued for years. Finally, it was found and declared the ninth planet of the solar system. Yet after a few years, more research concluded that Pluto couldn't be considered a planet anymore as it doesn't fulfill the characteristics of a planet. The first man who believed a planet X exists. In the 19th century, many astronomers began to look out for the unknown planet that many believe existed and is undiscovered. In 1906, Percival Lowell also knew that something was out there that was not yet in the records. He was an American businessman and astronomer, and depending on his calculations, he was very convinced that there was a ninth planet that caused the wobble orbits of Uranus and Neptune, but he had no proof recording the existence of Planet X. He continued to search for the planet using the Lowell Observatory in Arizona. Along with his fellow astronomer William H. Pickering, he searched through the sky, especially where he thought there would be a planet. Still, unfortunately, he didn't find anything. He peered into the darkness for almost a decade until he died to find proof for the declaration of the planet X on the extreme side of the solar system. Widow of Percival Lowell. She continued to fight a legal battle for almost 10 years for the observatory's future. During this time, the search for the unknown planet was paused to focus on other matters that were important for the successful search for the planet. The remarkable love of a wife for her husband let her do something that might have made her husband happy. Nephew of Percival Lowell In 1927, after many years after Percival's death, his nephew Roger Lowell Putnam became the only trustee of the observatory, so now the mission of finding the unknown planet had become his responsibility. He spent 40 years of his life continuing the search for the planet. He didn't only rely on the old things. He brought in fresh equipment and more staff to put more effort into finding Planet X. He renewed the search for the planet by putting more means into it that could be more successful. Also, as more time passed since the death of Percival, the knowledge and technology advanced in these years. In 1929, he hired a very passionate observer, Clyde Williams. Clyde continued the mission by taking pictures of different sky regions where it was predicted or believed that Planet X might exist. He continued and took photographs of the same region, and after a few days, examined the difference between the two images. He used an instrument blink comparator that helped him to detect a shift in any object in the two images that would lead to the discovery of Planet X. On the 23rd of January 1930, he saw an image of one region Lowell had suspected many years ago that the planet might exist. After six days, he took the image of the same place again. After a detailed examination, he found that one of the lights in the image had moved from his previous image. Stars are too far from Earth and their motion cannot be seen or detected. That is why anything that was moving couldn't be considered a star. The observatory confirmed the observation further using the pictures. Once confirmed, the news of the discovery of a new planet was ultimately telegraphed to Harvard College Observatory on the 13th of March 1930. It was time to give a proper name to the recently discovered planet. 
the list was shortened to only three names, Minerva, Cronus and Pluto. It is a surprise to know that the suggestion of the name Pluto was from an 11-year-old schoolgirl that lived in England. Moving toward other methodologies, like in Roman, Pluto means the god of the underworld that has a gloomy realm that was much more than the other gods. Another convincing thing was that Pluto started with the letters PL, the starting letters of Percival Lowell. So there was no chance to reject the name, so it was accepted. Following this, the planet's name was announced on the 1st of May, a huge declaration. Why is Pluto no more a planet? Until 2005, every science book taught in school let children know that there are nine planets in the solar system, namely Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and Pluto. Pluto was the smallest planet of all others discovered in 1930 after so many efforts. After its discovery, things were going on smoothly worldwide. In August 2006, some scientists united at the International Astronomical Union and defined what a planet is. Now there was an official definition for planets. It was applied to all the planets in the solar system. Fortunately, all the planets passed the definition test, other than Pluto. According to the definition, a planet must fulfill three conditions before being declared a planet. The three conditions include 1. It must have a defined orbit around the Sun. 2. It must be big enough to be surrounded by its own gravity. 3. It must have cleared the neighbourhood around its orbit. The third point means that a planet must clear all the comets, asteroids and other dwarf planets from its way using the power of gravity. Pluto has an orbit on its own and a bigger mass, but it cannot meet the third condition as its mass is less than the combined mass of all the other objects near its orbit, and it cannot clear its orbit of all the other bodies. This led to the delisting of Pluto from the list of planets. Many people spoke against it, but no decisions were changed. Pluto was then called the dwarf planet instead of a planet like the others. But do you know that Pluto is not the only dwarf planet, as scientists found two others? They were like Pluto. In 2005, another dwarf planet was discovered named Eris, but it was somewhat bigger than Pluto. These newfound bodies were all acting like Pluto, but they didn't resemble a planet as declared by the scientists. The discovery of these planets let scientists define a particular planet to distinguish between the ones that are not planets. After the declaration of Pluto not being a planet anymore, all the science books changed the number of planets count to eight. In July 2015, a new spacecraft passed near Pluto that sent highly detailed images of Pluto that were not seen before by any of the men. It was the first time when humans saw life on Pluto. Whether Pluto is a planet or not, we must agree that it is a place with an amazing history and many conflicts. There are many secrets on Pluto that science has yet to reveal to humans. Pluto was the baby planet smaller than all others, yet it was born with much difficulty and lived for a few years as a planet in the science books. From the very start, Pluto had been in conflict. Many people died searching for it, but it stayed undiscovered. The rise of Pluto took a lot of years, but its acceptance as a planet was very short. Despite countless efforts of astronomers and some people, scientists declared that it is not a planet anymore. People still have it in their memories as a planet, especially the ones who learned it in childhood. But we must stick with the new decisions.